Hi, and welcome to or back to my channel. I'm Kit, and here we talk about the harmful beliefs and ideas that come from religion, red pill, and so on. And today we're discussing conservatives' obsession with TikTok. Just kidding. We're actually discussing Lauren Chen's very important question. Are feminists broken? Lauren Chen is a tradcon political commentator formerly known as the Romy Millennial. Her talent seems to be somehow blaming feminism for everything she thinks is wrong about society, and I wish I was kidding. I actually scripted, filmed, and posted a different version of this video before deciding the audio was too bad and there was a better way in general to go about this one. So I already know that Yes, everything is the fault of feminism, per Lauren Chen, and her proof has very little to do with what she's saying. This is basically just a let's mock how stupid women are video, but she's totally a girl's girl. And before we get into it, I would like to note that I don't know Lauren, and these are my thoughts and opinions. That being said, thank you for joining me, and I would like to give extra thanks to my patrons. So for this video, I would like to look at what Lauren blames feminism for and how she backs up her statements. Honestly, it's kind of funny and also kind of scary because people eat this up without even pretending to think critically about what she's saying. Anyway, we begin, as all good videos begin, with a TikTok. Whoever fought for women to get jobs. Why? Why did we do that? I am so tired. I want to just put my feet up. Like, I am... Oh my god. To Lauren's credit, she does note that the woman in question is wrong about women working being a new thing. Women have always worked. Lauren also notes that there are women who are thriving, and she considers herself one of them, but... By and large, the women who are following the mainstream media's advice on how to live life and who are embracing feminism and, I guess, general pop culture, those women, they are not okay. I would love for Lauren to tell us what the mainstream media's advice for how to live life is. Because, yeah, I've seen how to do X and should you do Y, but nothing that tells women you have to do this. This is the right way to live life. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff about work and jobs and such in mainstream media because for one, we live in a capitalist society and for two, mainstream media is a corporation. Now, there are feminists who think the pinnacle of feminism is women working, but the plain truth is that so long as we live in a capitalist economy, people have to work and there is a benefit to making your own money. Unfortunately, not all jobs are fulfilling or even worthwhile, and Lauren is lucky in that she likes her job, and I would be willing to bet she has a lot of freedom in terms of what she talks about and when, and I bet she has a team working with her as well, and yet. Okay, so I don't know which one of you has alerted the media, the Real Toronto News account on Twitter, but apparently I was the main vocal point. And if you don't know what video I'm talking about, I will put a screenshot right here. This one, okay, I'll give you a second to read it. Mm-hmm, delicious, yum. Yeah, that was a haha -ha moment. That was a LOL. That was a joke, okay? I did, I did have a rough day in the office. I had a really rough time. An old woman did yell at me because I think she was close to death. Why blame me, you know? But it's just a joke and now I'm just, why? And look at my face! That's uglier than Kim K. I'm pissed. I'm always curious, so I went to check out the TikTok of this person, and in less than three minutes, I found that. This is Lauren's job, and neither Lauren nor her team could bother fact-checking. This is a woman here who is not happy, who is not fulfilled, trying to live out the girl boss feminist fantasy. Honestly, this is embarrassing. She has no idea who this woman is, or what she does, or what she believes. She's basing all of this on a 27 second TikTok that turned out to be a joke. And really, what is her response to this issue? Last I knew, Lauren was a conservative, so I don't think she would be okay with people, because men get tired of working too, getting money from the government in place of paid employment. Lauren goes on to say that it's unacceptable for women these days to say she doesn't want a powerful job and wants to spend more time at home. Well, here we go. I'm a feminist. 
I'm a woman, I don't want and have never wanted a powerful job, and I would love to spend more time at home. However, I need to make money so I have a home to spend time in. I said it and nothing happened. And while we're here, I want to add that I think we really need to reconfigure work for the 21st century because the standards set over 100 years ago are massively outdated. But in Lauren's world, everything is fine, everything is working as intended, any discontent is actually the fault of feminism. So there's one. Work is the fault of feminism because a woman posted a joke TikTok. Anyway, up next, even though it might be easy to shrug off one woman crying about how miserable she is in the modern era, it's a little bit harder to do when we're seeing video after video of woman after woman crying over how despondent they are, thanks to, I mean, let's face it, feminism. Let me know in the comments. Do you see video after video of despondent women on social media? I don't, but I also don't go looking for it. Anyway, if you guessed that dating would be feminism's next target, you are correct. I don't know who this video is from, but Lauren's source for it is Twitter user iHypocrite, who claims to be a humble cringe addict and recovering thought enabler. What kind of world do we live in where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date? Because these guys don't want a real woman. They want a fantasy. They want to live in this fake fantasy world, they would rather jack off to some screen, to some robot, rather than actually deal with a real human being and what comes with that. You know why? Because it's easier. And I am done. Lauren says the woman is young and good looking and should thus be able to find a man. And if she's having that much trouble finding someone, that probably means she has some self-reflection to do. Lauren adds that she would bet her relationship problems aren't the fault of men and have more to do with some lifestyle or life choices that she's made. And I agree, if you're trying to date and you keep getting rejected, you have to look at the common denominator. But of course, Lauren has to find a way to sneak feminism in there, and so if the problem actually is the men, well, that's feminism's fault. A huge cornerstone of the feminist movement was the sexual revolution, and you would not have pornography being the huge industry it is today, and all of these different women being totally fine promoting OnlyFans if it weren't for the sexual revolution, which is, yes, a feminist problem. Pornography predates feminism and would exist even if feminism never did. This is an amazing reach. I hope she stretched. And I'm no expert on the sexual revolution, but I would say it occurred alongside feminism, not because of. Please do correct me if I'm wrong, because I would like to know. However, I don't trust Lauren to be honest. So I'm sorry, Missy, but if you are unhappy and alone because men would rather spend their time with a woman through the screen than actually interact with you in person, then you kind of need to blame feminism. I can't imagine why I would doubt her honesty, and that was a weird cutoff. But there we have it. A woman posted a video about having a difficult time dating because men would apparently rather watch porn, and that is feminism's fault. Anyway, Lauren notes it probably sounds like she's preaching to the choir with her audience, but she just keeps seeing all these miserable women. And their problems are all stemming from feminism, this lifestyle that is being fed to them that they are to their own detriment pursuing. Can anyone tell me what the feminist lifestyle is? But that is why Lauren is making another video about feminism because women are not okay and feminism is to blame. Lauren segues into her ad read from here and then she theorizes that any feminist watching might say feminism can be criticized and no movement is perfect, but we still need it because women still aren't equal. But Lauren has doubts. Do we actually still need feminism today? I mean, I would argue that we never needed feminism. Increasingly, I'm even skeptical that first wave feminism was a net positive for society. But okay, let's talk about today. It seems like a substantial number of the women who are still embracing feminism because of the need for equality don't actually know what feminism is fighting for. To be honest, I'm not really surprised that Lauren is okay with not being able to vote. Increasingly, conservatives get more and more extreme in their beliefs, and that includes their beliefs about women. And I have a feeling that voting is something Lauren is okay with giving up to maintain her audience. Not in the least because she's a Canadian living in the US. But her proof for a substantial number of women who are still embracing feminism don't actually know what feminism is fighting for are street interviews with either college students or women in their late teens, early 20s, out for a night. And that is supposed to convince me that feminists don't know what feminism is about. 
there's a lot of jump cuts and I just don't find conservative interviewers trying to play gotcha with students and young people just trying to have a good time all that convincing. I will say that the first street interview is from Turning Points USA where Lauren is a contributor and the second is from Billy Ray Brandt, a men's dating and self-improvement coach who runs a podcast with her husband called Make Me a Sandwich. And for anyone wondering, I'll link some reasons we still need feminism below. Also, anyone interested should check out Invisible Women by Caroline Criado Perez. Back to Lauren, it seems to her that all feminism does is encourage women to sleep around and have abortions. Citation needed and give them a victimhood complex. And that does not surprise me coming from Lauren because conservatives like to pretend that everything is fine and it's the people who say things aren't fine that are the problem. But even though Lauren just told us that feminists don't have a clue what they're feministing for. It's a cult. It honestly is a cult at this point. And it's so frustrating because feminism has essentially become our religion for a lot of these young Gen Z college grads, especially. Lauren just complained that feminism doesn't have a cohesive message or goal but it's a cult. How is it a cult without a leader? How is it a cult without even a group? Does Lauren know what cult means? Anyway, she shows her true concern when she says that they, I assume Gen Z college grads, are so blindly committed to the idea that feminism is good and anything in the name of progress must be positive. And there lies the true issue. Conservatives want to conserve the status quo. They don't want progress. I think this might be my favorite part though. They don't even realize how miserable their own lives are as a result of what feminism is pushing. I love that. You're so miserable, you don't even know how miserable you are. How lucky that there is the stranger that knows them better than they know themselves. And from here we go to the sexual revolution, which if you ask Lauren, is due to the societal rot we are seeing. And if you're wondering, the societal rot we're seeing is the breakdown of the family, which per Lauren can trace its roots back to feminism. It was actually Reagan who signed no-fault divorce into law, but that's not going to stop Lauren from going off about things she doesn't know or really care about. If we want to talk about what is good for women, because that's what feminism is supposed to be. This rubs me the wrong way. No one should be dictating to women what is or is not good for them and that includes other women. You can give advice or your opinion if asked, but assuming that other people besides the woman in question knows what's best for her just screams paternalism. Speaking of which, Lauren talks about how the sexual revolution has been a disaster for women, and I didn't think it was possible for her to get worse, but she surprised me. Because guess what? All of the restraints that were put around sex in the olden days where most people were waiting until marriage, despite what feminists like to say, that wasn't for the benefit of men. Do you think men actually came up with a system where they had to marry a woman before they would sleep with her? No, absolutely not. First, getting married so you can have sex is not a good idea. Second, please do not romanticize putting restrictions on women for their own good. That is how we end up with places like the Magdalene Laundries. Lauren trots out the tire line about how patriarchy sneakily convinced women that to rebel against men is to sleep with them, and Lauren mourns how the ultimate form of a woman is no longer wife and mother. She adds that feminists degrade and deride wives and mothers, and no, we don't. We just don't say that wife and mother is what all women should be or aspire to, that you haven't failed in some vital way if you don't achieve either of those things, or that you're less of a woman if you're not married or a mother. Lauren concludes that feminists instead promote behavior like this and goes to a video of a party. This video is from Twitter user CallieRN and per their bio, snarky ERRN, cute enough to stop your heart, but skilled enough to restart it. Wifey of an army vet, just escaped to the free state of Indiana. Hashtag MAGA, hashtag Trump 2024. Lauren asks if this is what women want to be known for, if this is what empowers us, is this the way that we show we are equal to men? And I will say Lauren's video itself is actually a good example of why we still need feminism, but Nothing was said in this clip. It's just people having a good time. I don't like to accuse people of racism, but why is she showing us a video of black people dancing as a bad thing? What is this supposed to convey? Because honestly, if this is what feminism is, if this is what equality is, if this is what modernity is, then I don't want it and neither should you. It was a party. Don't overthink it. Lauren mocks whatever makes them happy and says these women aren't happy and 
I don't know, they looked happy enough to me, but I don't pretend to know what strangers are thinking and feeling, unlike Lauren, and she has really strong feelings about that clip. I mean, at best, they're mindless hedonists who are drunk on physical pleasure. And for the women who aren't just being guided by their NPC lizard brains and who actually have higher thoughts, well, then in some ways they're even sadder because some of them have moments of self-reflection that they choose to post online. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is the most depressing thing ever. To illustrate her point, Lauren posted a picture from Twitter user Women Posting Ls, and it's not the first time she's used them as a source. Per the picture, a woman's teacher teacher used her porn name in class and Lauren's reaction is as expected. But it's like, Chica, if you don't want to be called by your porn name in class in front of everybody, drawing attention to the fact that you do porn, then maybe stop putting porn out on the internet for everybody to see. No. The person at fault here is the teacher, who definitely knew what they were doing, and also, as a teacher, they have a responsibility to their students. And let's note that Lauren chooses to shame the student for doing porn, not the teacher for watching it. Lauren goes on to bemoan the social safeguards that used to protect stupid people like this from acting a fool, and she is really driving home how judgmental she is in this video. She always seemed condescending, but this is like a whole new level. She mentions shame and shares another clip, this time from Twitter user Censored Men, which purports to be alternative media. A man asks a young woman about body count, and first she's incredulous, and then she ridicules it. Lauren sees this as a freakout that indicates she's made bad choices that she, despite the programming, realizes aren't great. I didn't read it that way, but I've realized that Lauren is only including clips that she thinks proves her point, no matter how thin that point might be. Lauren notes that feminists might think she has internalized misogyny and… yes, what else would I think when she's so happy to promote misogyny to her audience? The fact of the matter is that if I were a sexist, I could still never do as much damage to harm women as feminism itself has done. Woman claims she couldn't harm women as much as feminism whilst harming women. And Lauren knows it, as she encourages her audience to mock and laugh at women, she goes on to talk about rates of antidepressant use, especially among white liberal women, and how that's gotten so bad, it's a meme now. But if those stupid women would just stop being feminist, they would be happy. We know this because, well, that's not Lauren's job. Her job is to play obtuse and rile up her audience with random videos that she assigns equally random meanings to. But you know, Lauren does this because she loves women. Lauren is a real girl's girl. And a lot of people assume that because I criticize, like, modernity and modern women and feminism, they assume that like, I don't like other women. I'm kind of the opposite. I am a girl's girl. All of my friends are women. I want women to thrive. I am so obsessed with femininity and just, I don't know, wife group chats, mom group chats. I live for that stuff. And it is my care for women exactly why I am so fed up with feminism and sick and tired of seeing all of these different young women crying on camera about how terrible their lives are. It's like, well, maybe if everybody is so unhappy, we should start doing things differently instead of just expecting to feel differently because Big Pharma is popping us full of pills. Lauren is totally a girl's girl, so long as you're doing womanhood the way she thinks it should be done. But honestly, she's not. Someone who cares about women would not be using something like women posting L's as a source. And guess what? They created a new account, Single Moms Posting Ls, which, for some reason, has a white woman emoji with a black baby emoji as their profile pic. I have some questions about the account Lauren chooses to boost. Lauren concludes with asking her viewers if she should do a video about how men aren't okay because, though her perspective will be different, she thinks there's a lot to be said there as well. I have a feeling that if she does make that video, she'll also claim feminism as the cause for men's issues. And honestly, one of the weirdest things to me is the demonization of feminism. Feminism has little to no political power and low to middling societal respect. And yet it's somehow to blame for all the problems in the world? Or does Lauren think all these problems would have been avoided if women hadn't gotten the idea that they could be autonomous beings? Does she think the 1950s would have just kept repeating? Does she think there were no problems prior to 1965? Does she really think the world was a better place in 1923? Honestly though, I don't believe she does think about what she's saying. She just needs something quick and easy to rile up her audience and keep them coming back for more, and it's gross. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.